The greatness of Bruce Lee is by no means a question of whether he could fight or not, just as the achievements of Confucius are by no means as simple as how many points he could score. They are both number ones, they are both pioneers, and they are both a link between tradition and modernity. The fact that Confucius never took an exam does not affect his status as the supreme teacher revered by millions of students. Bruce Lee never stepped onto the impressive rings you speak of, but it does not affect his status as an idol and spiritual force worshipped by countless champions. Among Bruce Lee's disciples were those who had already mastered skills, including two boxing kings. One was Master Li Kai, the champion of the old Chinese national games, and the other was Master Bastiro, the winner of the U.S. Silver Gloves Boxing Championship. Both have memories of defeating Bruce Lee under the rule that only allowed the use of fists. Master Li Kai said that during Bruce Lee's private backyard lessons, he broke Bruce Lee's nose with boxing rules. Bruce Lee went crazy wanting to kill him and was firmly held back by Dan Ino Santo. If leg techniques were allowed, Master Li Kai frankly stated that he would not be Bruce Lee's opponent. This is what Master Li Kai verbally shared when he came to China, and many enthusiasts were present.